What should we say? Okay, like, we'll pick it up and Fortress then... Fortress and Trailer Mystery will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do it. We'll, That's we'll what we're it. gonna do, yeah, we'll, we'll kill you. We'll kill you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Porches and Pregler. Porches and Pregler Mystery Agency. Agency. Porches and Pregler Mystery Agency will kill you. Cause it's the Mary Kate and Ashley triple feature again. Mug, mug, mug. Uh. Super duper snoopers. First class private eyes. Now that we've turned off any potential viewers, yeah. only the true fans dun, are left. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Oh Who killed Mary Kate and Ashley? They didn't solve what killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> no. No, they didn't crack that case. They didn't solve what anything. What a bold claim to make. Like, another cape and they solved nothing. Who stole the Great Hook Diamond? What killed the dinosaurs? In no. fact, they like really led kids to believe some dumb ass shit in this video. <laughs> We didn't know marshmallows came from underground. Well, what do you think? They grow on trees? Everyone's favorite bits back. The Mary Kate and Ashley triple feature. I think this is the fourth one. Is it? <laughs> it feels like it's been like the hundredth. Hundredth episode of Mary Kate and Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. See, this is the case of the volcano mystery, but I really feel like spoilers. They shouldn't have called it the volcano mystery because no. that's sort of the answer to the mystery, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it's the case of the pedophiles in the jungle. <laughs> Howdy there, youngins! The case of what sentence did these guys get after this? <laughs> yeah. Were they ever prosecuted for their crimes? They better have been. I mean, that volcanologist was there. He better have like been a witness. <laughs> this is them descending into hell. In yeah. <laughs> Howdy there, youngins! If you're above five, I imagine a lot of kids shutting this off. I, man, this, okay, so we've watched quite a few of these by this point. I feel like this was the most useless one. It's pretty bad. It was like, cause the other ones, it's like, the mysteries are always stupid. It's always some dumb shit. Like someone in a beekeeper outfit and then they think it's a monster and mm -hmm. then someone's in a volcanologist outfit and they think it's a monster. Oh, no, look, I can't look, I can't But at least those are kind of leading, like you don't know exactly where they're going. It's not like in the title of it, they tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. But this one, like the mystery is, what is this thing? Answer, volcano. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a mystery at all. You want to describe the outline of this one? Two little brats are talking about rain. It was a dark and rainy day outside. Then when a few guys, they were up to no good, started making calls in their neighborhood. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Olsen and Olsen Mystery Agency will solve any crime by dinner time. Hello there, girls! So let's throw them in the volcano to appease our gods. Din -din 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 -din. <laughs> well, that's one version of events. <laughs> that's how it could have gone. gone. How about, about this? <laughs> But how about something not stupid? <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't describe this movie without being stupid. That would just be the credits. Yeah. <laughs> Mary Kate and Ashley are two little kids. The end. <laughs> their silent partner, the dog's getting sick of their antics because he's the majority owner of their mystery company. <laughs> and over there is our silent partner, Clue. He's like, look, rain or shine, I don't care. I want you two out there making us some dough. I gotta get those dog biscuits. <laughs> I'm not happy with you two. Like, there are, yes. they're there, like, can we put bows on rainbows? And the dog's just like, would you two get out there and actually solve some shit? I'm just sick of this. in a hat, you asshole. <laughs> All this makes sense. So these two little girls are stuck inside because of the rain. Uh, they get a call from uh, um, three molesters um, who are at the um, the Jelly Island. The Island of Jelly. Yeah, they're really so jelly. Cold. They're so jelly of these kids. <laughs> jelly. Ooh. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Pretty gross. 
the jelly jungle. The wilds of the jelly jungle. 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 They're at the jelly jungle jellyfish. A giant jumbo jellyfish. Giant jumbo jellyfish. Attacked by a giant jumbo jellyfish. Giant jumbo jellyfish, huh? Jelly jungle <laughs> yeah. Alright, they're in the jelly jungle by the Macaroon Mountains, and they are prospecting not for the normal stuff, which they list everything you you would think yeah. prospecting. Diamonds, want. gold, silver. No! We're getting marshmallows! <laughs> marshmallows! Marshmallows! Unlike all of the other nonsense in this, this is never explained why they think they can mine marshmallows. Yeah. And they're never corrected on this either. Like, usually it's like, oh, you dum-dums, it was this thing. Yeah. But there's, no, this one's just left, we're left hanging on that one. <laughs> yeah, I expect at some point for them to say to these three idiots, like, you don't get marshmallows. Especially once they establish this mines by a volcano, it's like... You know, maybe it's, that's just going to be ash or something and they thought it was marshmallow on the ground. No, apparently they're just going to say, yeah, marshmallows are by volcanoes, kids. Go check that out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, it was called the Marshmallow Mines. Who called it that? Was it them? You know, there's an old label? sign there that seems to be like an old thing and they're like, they're just apparently getting into this now, so I don't think they made the old sign. See, this is the real mystery. This is what, yeah. like, these are the questions that these... we have. No one's wondering like, oh, what's this snow? Oh, is it is it ash from mm. the volcano? Real snow is always cold. Well, maybe that's special snow. What's the monster? Is it a volcanologist in an outfit? That marshmallow munching monster is mighty malicious. And he's a meanie too. Oh, what are the snowballs? They're rocks coming from the volcano. Here comes the snow thunder. It. <sighs> This one seemed like the most pressed for ideas. The mm -hmm. other ones, like, they're stupid, but they have content. Yeah. But this was like nothing. It wasn't even until after they would concluded everything, they included some educational material. And then, like, they sing two songs, because it's, a, it's yeah. a musical mystery adventure. The one's about the rain. Yeah, one's about the rain. Can we talk? I've got something to say. I really hate it when it rains all day about being stuck inside in the rain, which their parents care about, but they don't care if they bite They go get some... molested in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> to the jelly jungle. We're going to the jelly jungle, yeah. mom and dad. Like, All right, oh, it's fun. raining. You guys stay in. Hey, we got a call from three pedos in the woods. <laughs> Can we go? Oh, yeah, sure. Beat it. <laughs> Bike across the country. We don't care. As long as it's not fine. raining, that's the important thing. Don't track water back don't into the house. Don't go out in the rain. If you're not coming back, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> bike out there. <laughs> Welcome to Hilton Hawaiian Village. Paradise is closer than you realize and much more affordable than you think. Call your professional travel agent or 1 800 Hiltons. And like this jelly jungle, like it's really Hawaii, right? Yeah, it well it's Hilton because, Hawaiian Village yeah, there sponsorship. Was a, there, there was a prominent Hilton Hawaiian Village ad before the whole yeah. thing. And then like it and it says it on the box too. Just so. like the home of Baywatch Hawaii. Yeah, the home of Baywatch Hawaii. <laughs> and that's when we see Mary Kate and Ashley calling out for help to get them away from these molesters and Hasselhoff's like, Oh sir, I got a plane to catch, I can't help you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> Hang loose. <laughs> Aloha means hello and goodbye. <laughs> Hang loose. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I think the best part was when they reveal the volcanologist, and he's like, he's very handsome. Howdy there. Uncharacteristically handsome, I think, for a volcanologist. Mm -hmm. I don't believe he truly was, because <laughs> they, they show a volcanologist at the end, though I think they were like, Let's look up who's the most handsome real volcanologist. We still gotta make get someone photogenic, but he's not quite a Hawaiian Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Matt. The John <laughs> Stamos light guy. Yeah. He's kinda, yeah, he had that sort of vibe going on, that rockabilly vibe, and mm. then he sings the volcano song. Yeah. I was like, is he charming like the little girls or the perverts? I don't know. <laughs> He charmed the audience. Yeah. I don't know if the inbreds are into that, because I don't know if he's related to that. <laughs> the real volcanologist was like that guy from Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> a volcano is commonly a hill or a mountain 
that's created by the buildup of ash or lava erupted at the Earth's surface. Oh, let's solve the mystery. Knock knock jokes. They even ran out of knock knock jokes. They didn't even have enough for their like 20 minutes of yeah. new content. Everything yeah. else is reused. It was just things. like orange. You glad I didn't say apple stuff like that. <laughs> just like ugh. orange, orange who? Orange are glad we know lots of knock knock jokes. I need a. I need, I need a who? I need a this like I need a hole in the head. Max. Max who? Max no difference. Let's keep going. Knock knock. Who's there? Whatever! Not even the caliber of rap rap jokes from that Ghostbusters book you got me. <laughs> Alright, let's not be mean. It's not as bad as this fucking strawberry patch joke. <laughs> Why did the ghost paint his toenails red? So he could hide in a strawberry patch. So he could hide in a strawberry patch. So he could hide in a strawberry patch. <laughs> Why did Mary Kate and Ashley paint their toenails red so they could hide in a strawberry patch? These pedos think that the soot by the volcano is snow. Yeah. Like, it doesn't play into the marshmallow thing they have going no. until they get there. They're just like, it's snow. It's like, why didn't they think it was marshmallow? And then yeah. they could also say, it's not marshmallow, you idiots. It's soot. They, <laughs> they, okay, they think these ferns... One thing I did learn is about some sort of fern that grows in ashes yeah. from volcanoes. <laughs> I guess that's something. There's these ferns, and then they say that they look so cold in the snow. Mm -hmm. But then later, like, the girls are like, this snow isn't cold. And they're like, snow's got be cold? Yeah. <laughs> Snow has to be cold. Yeah, and then they're like pouring a bunch of random colored water on these things and stuff. Like, we're Wait, doing experiments. Do they have these in their backpacks? Yeah. Where do they pack all of this stuff? Nonsense. <laughs> and extra nonsense was they walk up the hillside and then they supposedly see the volcano and there's like red lights shining on them. So they're apparently yeah. really <laughs> close to the volcano, the lava. Yeah. <laughs> so they should be like melting. And then they're like, let's go closer. Come on, let's get closer. After they show stock footage of a erupting volcano. <laughs> yeah, and then like, and then the volcanologist comes over and he's like, Whoa. Hey guys, Yeah, <laughs> it's me, the volcanologist. I wear this special protective suit so I can get closer to the volcano. And so take, it take it off. Yeah. And get closer <laughs> and, and dance. Let's sing a song. Do a jig. <laughs> Do the monkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Smart people in this. <laughs> Phelan, we should move on to the next one. <laughs> we, we didn't solve the mystery though of why this was made. <laughs> <laughs> some some mysteries are never meant to be solved. <laughs> 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 All right, um, another case not solved <laughs> by Porches and Pragler. <laughs> <laughs> Update <laughs> because of a, a, a viewer tip: <laughs> the three we pedos in the woods have been captured. <laughs> <laughs> they were living under another identity. <laughs> they were apparently going to film Wrong Turn 7, but please stop. <laughs> Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen were found dead. <laughs> 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 Shit just got real, Phelan. <laughs> just got a lot more pressed for content, that's for sure. Well... All right, I'm just gonna say right now, I think this had more content than the Volcano Mystery one did. Did it? It had more songs. There's something of a plot in the crappy Volcano one. This was just, what do we do for fun? Let's dink around Let's... in an air-like fortress. Let's dink around by the pool. Let's play pinata. Let's go to Six Flags, the end. All right, so uh, Mary Kate and Ashley's, you're invited uh, to their birthday <laughs> you're party. party. You're invited. Gross. Yeah, you're invited to your. Good one, Mary Kate. Good one.
Good job, Mary Kate. The advertise on this is filmed at Six Flags. This is um, an afterthought. Mm -hmm. It's just the very end of this. Um, here's the formula they had for this. What are we gonna do for our party? We could do a blank party. Yeah. A pinata party. And a pool party. It's a pool party and it's cool. I wanna go to a pinata party. This is both their birthdays and at one point they're like, do a pool party and a pinata party. Let's do both. And you're like, are they gonna do some weird combo pinata pool? No, they just do them <laughs> separate. I feel like, you know, the pool party is like something to get you put on a list for watching this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like. I imagine the three yokels from the woods are standing around watching this video <laughs> together. Lather up so we don't get burned. Then we jump on inner tubes, sliding, slipping and right through with all that. Why was that part of their fantasy that the boys snuck in and stole their candy? Yeah, it was really confusing because like, yeah, they do like the air fortress thing bouncing around and then it cuts <laughs> back to them like, yeah, it'll be over too quick. So let's do a pool or a pinata party or both. And then it seems like this is really happening. And, you know, there's a plot about boys creeping on them while they're in the pool and stuff. You're like, okay, so this is really happening now. And then the pinata stuff happens. Then it cuts back to them and you're like, oh, I don't know about doing that. Let's go to Six Flags. <laughs> like, what? So their imagination Wait, had the subplot about boys six, coming in and taking too much candy from their pinata and stuff. Six Flags was on the table this whole time and that was their last <laughs> yeah, option? Yeah, last resort. Screaming, steaming, slamming, jamming, really scary ride. You know, there's a lot of times when we're doing these Mary Kate and Ashley videos that we kind of make up inappropriate things mm -hmm. um, for comedic effect, but there was quite a bit in this one that kind of was, it was kind of uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. The long pool party sequence with all the girls in their bikinis or their swimsuits or mm -hmm. whatever and like putting lotion on their legs and then, you know. and, <laughs> and then they go straight from that to makeover party with the makeover machine, and mm. then like they're all like turning into different yeah. fetishes. <laughs> they're saying like they're saying all these things they want to be, and then like one of them's just like, I just want to be a kid. <laughs> and it's just like, well, it's like art imitating life, there, huh? I want to be a cheerleader. I want to be a can can girl. I want to be a fifties girl. I want to be a kid again. I feel so bad for them. They have at the very at the beginning of this and a lot of these ones, they're talking about this like cruise that they did where we're like hang out with Mary Kate and Ashley and they have all these shots of them like dancing around and yeah, like like you're promising a bunch of interaction with you know, like fans of various sorts and like kids are gonna think like, oh I'm gonna go there and be their friends because they don't have realistic expectations probably about this. No, no, and I feel really bad for them because like yeah. they're like the Mary Kate and Ashley were forced to do all this stuff. Like, I'm sure some of it they enjoyed, but, like, just being, like, on a cruise ship, and then, like, I'm sure there were people, like, keeping them away from fans, too, you know, so they weren't, like, swarmed from people, so you're just basically forced to pretend to have fun yeah. while you're with your bodyguards and surrounded by kids on a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. And even the footage they were showing from, like, I guess a past cruise, like, it just looked depressing awkward, and yeah. awkward. Yeah, like, I just feel really bad for them. If you guys want to. <laughs> I just want to be a kid again. Yeah. It's like, uh, maybe you shouldn't put what they were really saying in the movies, guys. Aww. <laughs> Even the Six Flags stuff, I don't know. It just, yeah. it just seems depressing. Yeah, they're just on like coasters and then they're like blue screened in going. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> that, was, that was really weird. It wasn't as good as the space stuff. They they go into like oh, a yeah. moon castle and they're bouncing around and then like and then they have the blue screen footage and they do like the missed high five. <gasps> yeah. like we could high five <laughs> miss epic fail. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Mary Kate. I think the worst one <laughs> was when um they sang about the pinata party mm -hmm. and then they put them in the cultural appropriation <laughs> mustaches <laughs> and they're just uh, they must have been directed to do this to just be like deadpan yeah, through they the look whole so section. Miserable. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, they had one, um, I think this was in the first tape that we watched when they're like, yeah, we'll solve any crime by dinner time. And they had to sit for like way too long and mm. one of them you could see her smile fade. <laughs> I think it was Mary Kate again. I think she's the one that's the lesser actress of the two. She <laughs> Good seems to one, mess Mary up. Good one, Mary Kate. Good one, Mary Kate. Was it Mary Kate getting angry at Ashley? Or like, we do rock, paper, scissors. We do like scissors, paper, and then rock. Yeah, keep it scissors, then paper, then rock. Okay, that's a kind of <laughs> Maybe. I think she was the one that was getting super upset in the springbreakdance.com. I heard they're calling it springdance.com and evening in cyberspace. I heard it's going to be called spring.dance.com. Let me talk about this pinata. It's like they get, they wrote these dumb boys who were spying on them earlier. <laughs> they're it's imaginary like, dream boys. Yeah. We want to wish you a happy birthday. Thanks, Eric. You can go now. Like, the, you hold up the pinata because apparently this party's completely not supervised at all by any parents. And they, like, make off with most of the candy. And then Mary Kate just goes, oh, wait. And then she hits it again. And then a whole bunch, like, <laughs> more than anything else, like, pops out. It's like, so there's two compartments. A smaller one at the top, maybe, and a bigger one, and the smaller one had more. <laughs> but how did, the, how did they not notice the boys taking it? Because they're like, yeah. hey, where'd all the candy go? Yeah. And then the confusing part to me is all the things in the yeah, pinata. Yeah, it's gonna get to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, what items did they include in this pinata, Phelan? Uh, giant scissors, but best was granny mask. <laughs> They were like, oh, hats, scissors, yeah. and a wig with a grandma mask yeah. attached to it. Yeah, random crappy candies, and then giant novelty things, and grandma mask. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're having so much fun. Who yeah. put that in there? Did they plan that, or did that just come with the pinata wherever they bought it? I don't know. It's like the parents just like saw random crap in a box and they stick that in the pinata and give it to those Never. little brats. <laughs> Put in our used syringes. Yeah. <laughs> Packets of weed. You ever going to use that dumb granny mask again? No. Throw it in the pinata. It's for, it's for uh, pretend dress up. Go nuts. <laughs> this is They're getting rid of the evidence from their robbery. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> If they want to take another bike ride across the country to a volcano, like, let's give them the granny mask and whatever else. And <laughs> Bye. Okay. <laughs> Scary stuff. We played jacks, we jumped rope, and we bopped till we dropped, honey. Well, let's move on, shall we? Shall we? Let's go. Well, Phelan, this was a mistake. Mm-hmm. We went too far down <laughs> we this Mary Kate much. and Ashley hole. Okay. Uh, <laughs> into their uh, sad teen years. <laughs> so we decided to do something different. We'd never done one of these before. So Little Time. So Little Time was one of a couple sitcoms that they did on their own outside of uh, Full House, obviously. This it, was on ABC Family and it looks like it. <laughs> yeah, both of them lasted a season, but holy shit, they had to advertise every single little thing before this. Holiday in the Sun, winning London, passport to Paris, our lips are sealed. You're invited to Mary-Kate and Ashley's greatest party. Christmas collection, school dance party, and the amazing adventures of Mary-Kate and Ashley. You're invited to Mary-Kate and Ashley's costume party, fashion party, Mary-Kate and Ashley's mall party, favorite parties, vacation parties. Switching goals, billboard dad, it takes two. America Online keyword, Mary-Kate and Ashley. Mary-Kate and Ashley, starring in When in Rome, the soundtrack CD. Mary-Kate and Ashley Sweet 16, License to Drive. And check out these other cool games. Mary-Kate and Ashley, curling style. And look for our new Sweet 16 book series, So Little Time and Two of a Kind book series, our new Adventures book series. Look for the new book series based on the hit animated television series, Mary Kate and Ashley in Action. Be sure to read the starring in book series, Mary Kate and Ashley in Action. So Little Time, only on ABC Family Channel. They had the dolls, they had the two sitcoms, they had the cartoon, they mm. had the CDs and the DVDs and the videotapes. Just so much stuff. It was like a requirement too for like sitcoms in like the late 90s early 2000s they have a coffee shop as one of the central locations yeah it did even <laughs> like 
when uh, Sabrina went to the college years, they're like, we're hanging out at the coffee shop. Yeah, yeah this was extremely, extremely uninspired. Mm -hmm. um, so I remember this being on TV, but like... I don't. Uh, but I mean, I thought it lasted longer because it was on all the time. Same with like Two of a Kind. Well, they basically could have been the same show. Like all their shows are in their movies are just like, oh, they're two girls with a single parent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They have a theme with this too though. This is like, they release these in volumes apparently. This is volume four, hanging out. Yeah, we watched The Massage. The Massage. Look at yourself, you can't stop. Larry, don't be silly. I mean, you can't be addicted to massages. <laughs> Where's Willow? I'm freaking out here! Because this is volume four, I gotta believe, because there's like five volumes of this, so there had to have been, or there's five uh, to this tape, so there had to have been five volumes, is mm -hmm. my guess, because there was only so many episodes. They were just out of themes. Mm -hmm. Hanging out. Sure, why not? Hanging out. Just hanging out. Hanging out. Hanging out with family. There is a framing device with mm -hmm. this show where they are Mary-Kate and Ashley on the lot to film so little time and then they do a couple things and this was kind of what they did with like the cartoon like they'd be like where are we going this week? Right. We're gonna go here! Doo -doo -doo. And they do that in this one, it has nothing to do with anything and then goes into the show which is about them playing twins Chloe and Riley mm -hmm. who are basically just themselves but with bad extensions <laughs> And they have um, divorced parents mm. and a nanny, yeah. and they hang out at a cafe a lot. Mm -hmm. The book ending things where they're themselves are like really, I don't know, like they didn't do much at the ending, but the beginning one is shot like a crappy music video, so it's like yeah. really <laughs> shaky camera, then like random colored shots, and then like triple the video. They did that as sort of transitions too, like mm -hmm. the music video effects. And yeah, it's like yeah. for no reason. It's over just like Paul Blart, the <laughs> Kamal cop coming <laughs> after them. He comes over and pulls them over for speeding. They're speeding in their golf cart on the yeah, lot. Yeah, just to go to their set. <laughs> and then he's like, wait a minute, boom, it's Mary Kate and Ashley. Yeah. And they would gladly bribe him with uh, yeah. with signed uh, autographed pictures. So, uh, do you still talk to Saget? Yeah, we, I am him all the time. Breaking the law. <laughs> that should have been the theme. Breaking Doing the crime law. and getting away with it. Volume five. <laughs> oh my God though, but are they? God, like we were complaining about the content Mm -hmm. and the other ones, or the lack thereof. There was so, so little time, so little content yeah. is what's going on here. Like, it was like, this only lasted one season. And this was like, I think episode 16. Mm -hmm. And they were already struggling for content. Here, you can taste the rainforest. Without chocolate, it's all the same to me. <laughs> I must have mixed up the bags. These beans are my life. <laughs> You know, did not help and was the least <laughs> welcome thing in this entire thing was the laugh track because I think that made everything worse. It's just like, yeah. hey, can I get my coffee? <laughs> and, but it wasn't even that enthusiastic, the laughter. It was kind of like... <laughs> yeah, <I like> chuckles. <laughs> you can't even get a good reaction of the canned laughter. It's kind of sad. Mr. Know It All. Chloe, is that you? Do you think he heard? I don't think there was a single genuine laugh in this. They got they got two plots. Okay, they got the plot with Chloe, where she keeps trying to talk to this guy she likes. But and then they something keep... loud happens. Yeah, something loud happens, and then she doesn't continue the conversation. Neither of them seem to think, like, continuing after the interruption is an yeah. option at any point. Yeah, it's like, oh no, loud mixer. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the end of that. Yeah, well, and the reactions are just sort of like... <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, both of them seem to think they finished the conversation the first time it happens in the coffee shop anyway, but she comes back and goes, did you ask him out? And her friend asks that, and she goes, I think. And he seemed to say, like, yeah, that sounds good. So, did he not know what he was saying? Yeah, it sounds good, too? Like, I don't understand. They They're both idiots. <laughs> it's just, it's very, it's a stretch. Uh -huh. It's a stretch. It's just, nothing. Like, all of it's a stretch, this entire thing. But, like, the main thing... 
that it's named after, mm -hmm. <laughs> the massage, mm -hmm. is because Riley, she gets a free massage because she's got a crick in her neck. Ha ha ha, bring in the laughter. Wow, that's some crick. <laughs> then she becomes addicted to massages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's like a plot too where I guess the mother thinks it's drugs, but this show is too weak sauce to even say that. So she just goes, oh, I can't even, I don't know what's going on with her. And then they have a conversation in like their full house looking bedroom where yeah, they both have beds like, like for pointed in towards each other. <laughs> like it's so stupid. Yeah, these these beds look like they're for babies. Mm -hmm. They're like 15 at this point. Uh, it's 16 because during... they have that sweet 16 thing. Think of it, Mary Kate. We're finally 16. They say if they're uh -huh. 15 in the episode. Macy, I don't want to get your hopes up, but there's a very strong possibility we're going to end up married with two 15 year old girls. Who know? Well, Mary Kate and Ashley are 16, but Chloe and Riley are 15. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's distinct characters here. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's like the mother's in the bedroom. She's trying to talk to her, saying, I think she's addicted to drugs, but I can't say that. So it's like they have a nothing conversation. And then she goes, oh, mom, I, I just really need money. Da, 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 da. And she's like, I can't give you money right now. We're too rich to give you money. We have like a live-in nanny housekeeper and stuff. Yeah. And she goes, oh, well, I need to, something to help my chi. She's like, chi? How she can make chi out of whack? <laughs> chi? <laughs> end of that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Scenes just end. They never have like a punchline or a point. They just sort of like peter out yeah. into nothing. <laughs> Can you imagine just someone mumbles something about Chi and you're like, well, that ends my confronting them about their possible drug addiction. They said Chi. Yeah, it would I'm almost out. be it would almost be funny if they had gone the drug addiction angle. But it was like you know their keepers, their handlers were like, you can't associate drugs with them because this is going to ruin their image as these wholesome fashionista teen idols. Yeah, so, not even pretend yeah, like mistaken drug it. addiction. Yeah. How many massages have you had? No, few, but it's fine. I can cancel anytime I want. One minute they're selling their boy bong music and, and cleaning the toilet for a dollar and then next they're in the promises clinic with Robert Downings Jr. I understand you have other clients, but I just need a little something to get me through the night. No, Willow, I promise I'm totally good for it. No, please don't cut me off. I just really need to relax. They just gotta have like a massage ad addiction that I guess she just gets over at the end. Do they even really address it by the end? No, the mother gets a massage and that's <laughs> the end of it. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> There's they, they don't even. And, and the massage woman's like kind of like creepy at the end because she's like, "You get me my money, yeah. or I'm gonna make you like bend you out of three, shape push. or whatever." Now get me my money, or you'll find yourself up a crick with no paddle. Like she knows. Yeah. That this is gonna get people in on this. The, mm -hmm. the like the first yeah. one is the gateway massage. <laughs> By the way, like this massage woman, she's set up in the middle of the cyber cafe they all hang out at. Like what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've seen massage people at weird places. That's they have them so at conventions stupid, sometimes. <laughs> Why but would I, that yeah. be relaxing? How would you relax in the middle of like something like that? I would think so. <laughs> no, I don't know. But it's like, you know, I guess you fall asleep as people are playing solitaire on the computers behind you. <laughs> you fall asleep watching so little time. It's so, oh, there's nothing in yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, this show is so exciting. I noticed solitaire being played. <laughs> Ooh, solitaire, how are they doing? <laughs> Look, there was one joke that was a particular stretch in this. Um, so one of the girls is a, a waitress at the cafe, their redheaded friend. Mm -hmm. and like a waitress slash actress. <laughs> Uh, what a good she's joke. she's ditzy. Ah! She shows up in one scene when they're going to have like an intervention at uh, their apartment or house or wherever they live and is like holding a coffee cup. And it's like, what, did she take that from the cafe? That's weird. And then um, the mom goes out to give a talking to the massage, massage therapist. Woman, yeah. yeah, to try and like get that drug dealer. Yeah. And then like the girl's like, while you're out, I was supposed to take this to table three mm -hmm. half an hour ago. While you're there, I was supposed to bring this latte to table three a half hour ago. <laughs> Fine. What? 
the, no, nothing in this scenario makes any sort of sense. No. It's more confused, like, you're not laughing because you're like, why did any of this happen? Her other jokes were, she goes, where's our waitress? And then her boyfriend goes, you're our waitress. She goes, oh yeah, get me a muffin. And then she goes over to get herself a muffin. And then at one point her boyfriend asks for a refill. He's like, sure, grabs another cup from a different table and pours it in his. Ha <laughs> ha! Or as the laugh track said, <laughs> No one in this has any sort of, like, comedic knowledge, like timing or delivery or anything, mm. except for the guy who plays the nanny. He's, he's a well-known actor, I don't know off the top of my head, but like, he's, mm. he's known for doing comedy. And he's completely wasted here. Mm -hmm. Have you been using the full of B again? <laughs> I told you, you have to use my hair guy, dude. I remember catching this on TV, and I remember he was the one that I would laugh at and nothing else. <laughs> I do remember that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, it's the funny guy. And yeah. then Mary Kate Nashley. <laughs> It's like Mary Kate and Ashley scenes are so like divorced from a lot of their broken up parents scenes because like they're off doing their dumb little things and then it cuts back to them and they're like having some maybe we're getting back together crap going on. It's like who cares? You <laughs> just have to glean that from like as as a volume separate from other things. There are some like that seems to be the only real ongoing storyline. I guess Chloe having a crush on that guy must be an ongoing oh, yeah, thing. Probably. She is so into him. That plot's not concluded either. Like mm -hmm. they're just interrupted by an off-screen band. They don't bother showing, and then they kind of laugh, and that's the end of the episode. Yeah, the wrap around. Because she tries to set up a date with him again via a note, and then it gets passed to the wrong guy, and then she just goes on a yeah, date like, with him. She's like, I have to go on the date, Apparently. which would which would be in I think another show the entire plot of something like mm. oh no she's embarrassed she has to go on this date because she doesn't want to hurt this guy's feelings mm. and then the other guy's getting the wrong message and blah, blah, blah. but instead they opt for nothing yeah he doesn't <laughs> even talk he like gets the note and goes yeah yeah well, he doesn't say it he just thumbs up so it's like i guess he doesn't actually show up on their date later because then you'd expect she, him she to said, say something she said that he was there but he was off screen yeah he never shows you up. never see him <laughs> because you'd expect him to talk bro he's like well he's not paid for Line, so he doesn't actually show You think up. that extra was like proud of that? Like he's like, yeah, I went on a date with Mary Kate and or Ashley. Mm -hmm. Whichever one. <laughs> whichever, I don't know. Well, I don't which even one. know which one. Hope was a good one, Mary Kate. Good one, Mary Kate. This was terrible. This was garbage. Um. I can't believe it was even a season. This was so <laughs> bad. I'm glad we only watched one of the five episodes. <laughs> Be a lot. It was yeah. enough. Yeah. I, can't, I can't imagine an hour 40 of this. Yeah. One episode was just the commercials. <laughs> ah, yeah, so many commercials. <laughs> just like, oh, don't forget their GameCube game. On Nintendo GameCube and Game Boy Advance. Was there anything about So Little Time? Any other things that you'd like to talk about before we start I'm wrapping just up? Really hoping those parents get back together. <laughs> oh my God! Let's put the tape in. We gotta know. I'm glad, like their father too. Like he seemed very uninvested in one of his daughters apparently being addicted to drugs. He did the talk with her at the end, while the other, while the mom did the confrontation. Mm hmm. What do you say? She just admitted to the. He gave her a massage, massage and then it got kind of weird for father daughter, but. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. He just he just enabled her addiction. That was the ending. Okay. She's like, you can get massages for free through other people. You know, you don't have to. Yeah, you seem like a big dope, though. Just like... He did seem like a big dope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get back with my ex-wife and screw our kids up again because we'll probably break up again and it'll be traumatic for them. That's how the show ends. It's so little time that, ends. Yeah, yeah. like how I'd like to imagine. It's just like, we're back together and we're getting re-divorced. Let's renew our divorce vows. And the kids cry at the end. <laughs> I think it was called So Little Time because Mary-Kate and Ashley felt they had so little time in their lives. <laughs> She's been called so little jokes. <laughs> so little thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Phelan. <laughs> we need to... Paul Blart studio cough comes out again. Hey, can I have another autograph? My, my family's addicted to those autographs. <laughs> da -da -da -da. I need to get some cocaine. <laughs> it all connects, get it? <laughs> Phelan. <laughs> 
<laughs> you gotta rank these. How do you rank these uh, these tapes? What's well, the best? What's the worst? Their faces melted off in the volcano one, so that's pretty high. <laughs> the, you know, the face melting rating is often uh, not utilized. <laughs> Better run, don't you stand there and gawk. Hey, this is one hot, hot rock. <laughs> this one next, and this one's last because I'm on a list for watching. <laughs> How, how does the birthday party get lower than the massage? Because it was too creepy. <laughs> Just... <laughs> it was creepy. Mmm, I love birthdays. That's fair enough. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I, you know, I'm gonna put the, the birthday one on the top. It's a bold choice. <laughs> I don't know about that. Because I ain't getting on a list. You're on the list now. <laughs> Oh no, this is gonna be used as evidence! You just made the list! <laughs> you said that you like to top Mary Kate Ashley! It's proof! <laughs> I think because the effects were stunning, and it seemed to have the most content of the three. <laughs> and they had the high five that they missed. <laughs> um, and they weren't- there was no marshmallow fucks in here. Um, <laughs> I I gotta rank so little time the the worst for me I feel like that was the saddest and like I, there was so little laughs mm -hmm. it was just there's behind the scenes included they felt we needed behind the scenes for this this is where we read the script out loud with the writers and the producers to find out which jokes are funny and which ones need help we love it when the jokes work that's my rankings. <laughs> In conclusion, <laughs> none of this can be used against us in the court of law. In conclusion, we made a huge mistake. Who are you gonna call? Someone, Someone else. else.